drinking with idiots with me, No Dragons Please, who is being a proper idiot and forgot his webcam while he's dog sitting. And me, I day to go tomorrow. Hello. Uh, Alti, how was. I guess it's been a month. This is season two. Season two of Drinking with Idiots. Hmm, no. There's no seasons. There is now. <laughs> Are you, like, tabbed out or something? Yeah, I'm doing all the extra description stuff. I was wondering why it was frozen. That's why you're frozen. frozen Ozen. Um, it's been a busy month, though. <clears throat> for, for both of us, I think. Yes. You uh... want... You went to Comic-Con. I went to Comic-Con, and then you went to New York. Yep. And then... i trying to remember what else happened. Uh, so last week, you were at New York. Mm-hmm. The week before that, I don't remember what happened. I think I just ended up sleeping in. Um, the week before that was Comic-Con. And then I think the week uh, before that was something happened. I don't know what. And I, and you, 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 you've had four weeks to watch the fucking show. Yep, and... You didn't? I did, actually. <laughs> hey! Today, while I was at work. Fuck's sake. I was dressed up as a uh, Blitz. For both Halloween and Comic Con. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, I can show it if it's on. on my it is on my camera. But I can actually get it on Instagram. Insta, yay! Because it is there somewhere. I've I've still got to make a video for my. Uh, YouTube. To do with it. Oh. You, you gotta make a video for your YouTube. For, um, Comic-Con. Oh, that's fair. I generally do one. Uh, shit. Is there not one of me? Well, there is one of me. I just don't know where it is. Uh, you. My, my, uh. My brother's girlfriend. You have a picture of me, don't you? I don't have a picture of me. I'm pretty sure she does. Where is it? Ah! Uh, there we. Go. I, I I guess, but that that's. There we go. That that will work. That will work. Uh, save us. That. Why is it taking so long? What's Take taking so long? The picture. I have no idea. Like, ages to download. If Monster is somehow awake, you can tell him that we're stream that we're live as well. He is awake, actually. Ooh. Was that who you were playing Solaris with? No. Oh, were you recording a new Stellaris? I was recording a new Stellaris uh, playthrough. I am currently playing as an overtuned hive mind. Okay. And... I am making nearly 600 science and 70 alloys a month by year 29. Well, that's not bad. I feel like you're making more at year 25 in ours, though. No, I'm not. Oh. It's actually, like, that's my challenge is always to make over 500 science a month by year 30. Uh... That, it didn't used to be my challenge, and then the guy that we play, that me and Munster play with, uh, Tachyon Lance, 
uh, he was like, a good build can make about 500 signs a month by year 30. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. That's pretty much my benchmark now is that. Of course, so we all know I what. Can't make that, we, all know, not we all know what's going to happen when we play with Juriston, though. He will somehow make a thousand signs a month by year 10. Why did it download everything? What the fuck? Why? Why did it download so much shit? I didn't want it to download all this shit. They're tracking you, Alti. Good day, Monster. Is Mon this it? Monster has arrived. There you go, that's it. Monster has arrived, has he? He has. He has arrived. Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck you off, you Aussie cunt. Uh, there are other ones. There's better ones. One of what's funny, on the Twitch side of things, I had to approve my stream elements message because Twitch said it was bullying. It was bullying? Mm-hmm. What? Because the title is Hell of a oh. Boss Recap, and it's like, no, you're bullying yourself. Bullying because it's... Fuck off. <clears throat> I bully myself yeah, all I want. We've not, we've not talked about Hell of a Boss yet. Nope. But we will. We shall. We will. Because I, I love Hell, Hell of a Boss. So... I like it too, uh... and I really hate that they take so long in between episodes, but I guess you sacrifice the weight for the for the quality that it is. Yeah, the yeah. It's there's a lot of quality there and you can tell that they definitely take their time. Yep. Um and I'm glad that they're taking their time to do shit. Cause it would be worse if they if they just did it like if they just churned it out. Oh you mean like Team Four Star? Yeah. I used to like Team Four Star. <laughs> the good old days. Oh, yeah. I loved, like, Dragon Ball Z Abridged was fucking hilarious. I like when they did Yu-Gi-Oh! So I like when they did Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged as well. That was funny. I didn't think Hethel was that bad either. Yeah. Um, Like, they take forever for Hethel episodes to come out, so they're not bad, generally. But they, they've gone down the route of, like, Rooster Teeth. That's true. Like, oh, they man, used to rooster. be good for one thing. They used to be good for one thing, and then they tried to do too much at once, and now they've probably just lost a lot of fans. Oh, man, Rooster Teeth. Oh, I loved Rooster Teeth back in the day. That's oh, man, they were so good. That's a name that bring, brings back memories. Mm -hmm. And then they tried to become an actual company and employ people that didn't care about, like, Halo and shit like that. Yep, and then they... Uh... They lost some of their main guys, didn't they? Yeah, I think so. Um, I don't even think Rooster yeah. Teeth is a relevant YouTube anymore. Not really. Do, I, do they even upload is the question anymore? I don't know. I think they just do Ruby, Ruby and shit like that now. Mm. Um, but I really... Like, I used to actually like Ruby... Um, wow, Rooster Teeth like does their... still upload. But, I mean, 9 million subs and they only get, at best, 60k views. Yeah, you can tell that people just don't want them to be diversifying as much as they do. Yep. Like, they, they did, Rooster Teeth wasn't, uh, they were a company, they were always a company, but they weren't like a faceless corporate, we just want your money company. And that's what they've turned into. To be fair, I feel like a lot of YouTube companies turn into that eventually. Yeah. Uh, unless you're PewDiePie. Yeah, well, he's always been solo, not a company. Mm, yeah. I do uh, like... Real and Johnson's like that as well. I like, that, I like PewDiePie's approach anymore where he's like, okay, I'll upload when I feel like it. And then if I don't go months for uploading, oh, well. 
Like, that's how he should have been for ages. At, like, he was the biggest YouTuber for ages. Still technically is, except for the fucking Indian pricks. Um, but he could have just been like, I, I'll upload whatever the fuck I feel like. Mm -hmm. And it could have been like that for ages, because he makes plenty of fucking money. I'm actually curious, because I know there's this whole Mr. Beast versus PewDiePie thing going on right now. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mr. Beast is at 109 million subs. And PewDiePie is probably at... Oh, he's at 111 million, so... Mr. Beast is catching up. I, yeah, think, I think it's funny how, how much people hate people who are super rich, and yet we idolize Mr. Beast. Who does? I don't... No, I no. I'm meaning like general. You know, you know the people I'm talking about. The people who are like, no, no, ultra wealthy need to to burn, and then mm. and then they're like, yeah, Mr. Beast. You're like, I don't. I what? Do you not see your own hypocrisy? They don't. They don't. They don't. Like, was it Bernie Sanders with the millionaires and billionaires have to burn, and then becomes a millionaire, and it's like billionaires have to burn. And it's like, yep. Fuck's sake. And then you've got like, the Black Lives Matters people. You know, the, the lassies that bought like a hundred different houses. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, and then they run, then they run away. What was it? The, uh, the leader of the organization that bought like a mansion plus a fancy yeah. car? Yeah. And then she ran away. And you're like, what? <laughs> I thought you were supposed mm -hmm. to be for for injustice. trying to help people that are black, not yourself. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess technically she helps someone that's black, right? Herself. No, other people helped her. True. Other people gave her money, so she didn't help herself. Well, she didn't help herself with their money. <laughs> exactly. Um. Yeah, I like. I really like Hell of a Boss. It's so much fun. It is quite hilarious. Uh, I gave you a picture of me in the in the Blitz outfit. Oh yeah, nice. Do I need to throw this up on the stream? We can. <laughs> Just give me a second. That was the after party. Oh, hold up. You keep them entertained, Alti. I have to answer a phone call from Mother. Okay. All right. Stop, fuckers. I'm very bad at entertaining people. That's why I don't have no. That's why nobody watches me on YouTube. Go, go subscribe to me on YouTube. Don't subscribe to Dragons. Unsubscribe to Dragons. Subscribe to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell monsters that he's a cunt because he's an uh, Aussie. Uh, uh, Monster has not yeah. answered you since you said that. Actually, I know. And I also like how you try and uh, pitch for yourself. I've done that a couple of times with your videos. I think what well, we were like back in the day, we were doing stuff. And I was like, unsubscribe from uh, Dragons and sub subscribe to me. And you're like, shut up, dude. <laughs> I think so. Wow, I have to scale this. Hold up. All right. <clears throat> Here's Alti. I, I feel like I should just have this still frame be, be you instead. It'd be accurate, <laughs> It'd be accurate for the still frame. Mm -hmm. But there is Alti at Comic-Con being Blitz. I can't see it. Is it on? Might be on here. Should be able yeah, to see. Yeah, I can see it now. Yep. There's Alti being Blitz. At Comic Con after party. Mm hmm. I had a uh, like I had a proper tail and everything. We can't see the tail in this photo, but. <laughs> I know. I've got other pictures that have tails in it, but. Yeah. <coughs> um. I enjoyed it. It was fun. Alright. Comic-Con was good, actually. 
That's good. I wish mine would actually just call itself a proper Comic Con rather than saying, "Oh, we're pop culture." Actually, it's not even that anymore. Now, now it's Fan Expo. Okay. You're just like, uh, just call yourself Comic Con. It's okay. Yeah, call yourself Comic Con, and the area is, you'll be fine. Nope, apparently not. <laughs> apparently, they think that they're gonna get sued or something. But it is America. People will sue you for literally saying hi. You said hi to me, Alti. I'm suing you. Mm -hmm. America is fucking stupid. America. The suing culture in America is fucking stupid. It's because people get away with it, is the thing. Mm -hmm. It's like judges are just like, sure, I'll grant this lawsuit. But there's no evidence that there was wrongdoing. Nah, I'm granting this lawsuit because fuck corporations. Or even if, um, say, the the person gets the lawsuit thrown away. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't get reprimanded for doing a stupid lawsuit. That's true. So they can just keep doing it. Like that guy that uh, was suing... Not A-Spec. Fuck, what's his name? Uh, Sidalfa. Oh, and yeah. All those people. And he got nothing done to him. Even though he sued Texas, he sued... Loads of people, and he's like being banned from suing like once every year or some stupid shit like that. They haven't arrested him. It, like, I'm pretty sure he's wasting court time, which is against the law. <laughs> I mean, is anything really against the law anymore in corp in corporate America? Yeah. Anymore. Any anymore. Anything that wastes a company's time. Any anymore anymore it's uh it's a pretty lawless wild west here. Nowhere near. Uh, like I it's you get more time in jail for pirating something than you do for raping someone. That's true. And that's not that's yeah. It's the same here, but it's fucking stupid. It is. That's corporate. That's yeah. I had some, I, I literally had someone, um, that lives in New York that we visited with. They're like, yeah, you could probably just go shoot a guy right in front of NYPD and they wouldn't really do anything. So fucked. And you're yeah. like, what? <laughs> I'm so glad I don't live in America. I'd rather live in, like, America than, say, Canada, but, yeah. <laughs> Careful, you're gonna offend Snuggy. No, I won't. You're going to offend Snuggy, Snuggy the Canadian cat. Snuggy would agree. That's true. He would agree that he doesn't, <laughs> want, to, he doesn't want to live it's in true, Canada. Mm -hmm. It's true, though. It's true, though. Yeah, so... how much Did you watch all the episodes today? Yes. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Do you, how much do you remember of all the episodes? Like the, so the first episode is the one with the kid. Yep. And I think what got me into it was who was the who was the person we were about to kill? The kid. Thank fuck, there is a god. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yep, I can see myself watching this. Uh, the second episode is the one with the family. Yeah, the the evil fam, the evil Southern family. Yeah, <laughs> um, and Moxie is like, but why would I shoot a family? And then I I love it when uh, what is it? Looney goes, he he definitely watches. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrone guy, we watched uh, Hell of a Boss. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Hell of a Boss. It's a very, very good series that Alti told me to watch probably a month ago, and I finally just did it today. <laughs> yeah, it, we were. Yeah, a month ago we were meant to uh, do the thing, and he was like, there, "Yeah, there's only one episode of Husband Hotel." Oh, really? Uh, just now. It's going on Netflix. Oh, okay. I'll have to watch uh, that. Was it episode six that has Daryl from Walking Dead? I think so. 
I've not watched. I've not read any comics or anything like that. I just watched the uh, TV, the YouTube series, and every time, every time Solus sings is great. <laughs> it is. Solus is so good at singing. He is. He's really but great. Voice actor, of course, but it's just, and the songs are great too. Um, I like the. I liked the uh, Moxie and Blitz torturing each other in each other's dreams yeah our hallucinations but moxie got less moxie was less tortured yes <laughs> and blitz is just fucked mm-hmm. uh yeah like so good there's so many good parts there's like i didn't like the uh the angel episode like the the cherubs and stuff I liked the ending of the Cherub episode. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think I enjoyed that episode all that much. No, but the ending of the Cherub episode was hilarious. It's like, well, your actions causing the death of a human being. You can't be come back. What? No. Yeah, it's like, well, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Who's Alex Brightman? I don't know who that is. That's Fizzaroli. That's probably from. Yeah, who's Alex Brightman? It's probably from Has Been Hotel. I'm guessing. No, Fizzarelli Fizzra- is the other Blitz person. Oh. The clown. Oh yeah. But I don't know who Alex Brightman is. Uh, yeah, nothing. Nobody that I I know. I'm pretty sure every episode ends with "get get out of here" or something like that. Get the F out. Like, I know who Fizzarelli, Fizzarelli is. Uh, yeah, so you, you see Fizzarelli twice, or he's in two episodes. One of the... Well, three episodes, actually. One of the episodes, he's a robot. When they go to Lululand. Oh, yeah. Beetlejuice from Broadway. Yeah, I don't... I and don't do the, Broadway, so... And the other one is uh, when they're at that dinner place, right? Yes. And he is singing with uh, Osmodius. Yes. That was good. That was a really good song. Mm-hmm. And then when uh, Moxie and Eminem try to sing, and they're <laughs> like, this is the place of lust. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, it's, and also when they go to LA, and uh, Looney smells, it's, like, it's definitely LA. <laughs> <laughs> Smells of piss and all that other <laughs> shit. It's Ellie. Um, and it's called Holly's Wood. Oh, yes, Holly's Wood. Uh, ah, yeah, they, it's. Yeah, I don't know who any of these people are. Richard Horvitz? The voice actor for Moxie. But he's also the voice yeah, know, actor but... for Zim, Invader Zim. Oh, okay. That's what they do I, have. Fun, famous people. That's what I. That's what I loved about it. As soon as Moxie talks, I'm like, it's Zim. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they do have some like as in Daryl. Daryl's in it. Uh, yeah. I don't know who the cherub is that goes well. Yeah, mm, yeah, no. She, she sounds very familiar. She does. I just can't put my can't put my tongue on it. Uh, but it's, it's a great series. I just, like I said, I wish they would. I get they're trying to make it a super quality series, but I wish they were a little bit faster with episodes being released. You can tell the difference in quality. Like, the quality's gotten better over time. Mm-hmm. By a lot. Yeah, Norman Reedus, Stryker. I'm really looking forward to Stryker coming back. He'll be back eventually. Oh, it's great when, uh, when she's shouting about trying to kill Stolas, and she's right in front of Stolas. <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Kill this cheating, blah, blah 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 blah, and then they're just at their family dinner. <laughs> I'm really glad they made Stolas look a lot better in the first episode of the second season. Mm-hmm. Um, because it, all it seemed like was Stolas cheated on his wife, but his wife was a complete and utter fucking bitch. Yep. And it makes it, it makes it understandable. Where he's like, 
she's just like, oh yeah, he's fucking terrible in bed. And, like that. and I was like, yeah, he's going to fucking cheat on you. I really, I, I like the, uh, the reason that we were together is 17 years old, so we're done. <laughs> yes. Like that, yeah. It's like, well, we're, fuck you. And it's so good. And then Danny eventually goes, leave. And she's like, what? Because <laughs> she was just so... It feels like she's not been told no. Mm -hmm. She gets her way the whole time. And it's yep. really good that he's just like, no, fuck off. Um... I like how I like when Looney talks to. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Hasman Hotel coming back. Uh, I like when. Oh yeah. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh, nice. Hasman Hotel. <laughs> That's Alistair. Uh, yeah, I like when Looney talks to, fuck, I forgot her name. I'm oh. blind now, you better be. Uh, when Looney talks to Stolis's, Stolis's daughter. Yeah, I don't remember her name either. And he, she's just like, they, they fuck up. But they try their best. Mm -hmm. And it's a really nice chat. Ophelia, yes, my Ophelia. <laughs> uh, and I thought it was a great chat. My eyes, my eyes. Oh, oh, bleach in there. oh, Ophelia, you've been on my mind. What? Octavia? Oh, Octavia. Maybe. Octavia. Yes, that sounds a bit better. Uh, oh, I like it when they, when Looney comes to the comes to Earth for the first time with them, and uh, <laughs> Blitz is like, "You can't come to Earth with us. Who knows what those freaks will get up and what, <laughs> what they were like." Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and then she likes the uh, the dog, that is the bodyguard. Yes. And his, his name is Vortex. <laughs> and it's the way he says it, it's great. <laughs> the, the, it's like, that's hot. <laughs> the, the hilarious uh, concert where, where IMB is just killing everyone. Yep. <laughs> and uh, Blitz's ex is uh, just singing about having sex. Yep. It makes everybody have sex, but uh, uh, Blitz is just killing them all. <laughs> it's like, I bet we can off as many people as you can fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Rosica is great. Yeah. You I see mean, Rosica I... again in the Osmosia, Osmodius. I like uh, how Verosica, like tried to get a monster to kill everyone, and then Millie's just like, nope, monster dead. See you later. No, so Verosica didn't mean to make that uh, monster. Oh. She was drinking and then threw her drink in the water and the, that made the monster. And the way that... So they were like, we could tell hell you made a monster. Even if it was by a mistake. <laughs> and like that's actually... They don't want Earth to know that hell exists. Oh yeah, that's true. Um... And yeah, so that's that's what ha that's why it happened like that. And they were like, "Yeah, we don't we don't need to uh, tell hell as long as you give me my parking space back." <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> that it was all over a fucking parking space. <laughs> it was funny. I really hope we get to see Vox and Alistair and Drax. Uh, yeah, I don't know how much though. Vox is from. I think it's has been. I, I'm like I'm looking forward to all the has been hotel people, because Hell of a Boss takes place on Pride. I think it's. Uh, I actually don't think they tell you where it takes place off, which ring it takes place off. Yeah, Vox is a TV demon and has been, and then you've got the the three V's, 
One of them is the social media demon. One of them is the TV demon, and the other one is the I don't remember what the other one is, but the other one's a whore demon mm. or a pimp demon. Um, but I'm looking forward to that. Alistair's great. Alistair is really cool. And I, I'm looking forward to seeing Angel Dust more. I am just probably going to go down the rabbit holes. So now my recommended is nothing but hell of a boss because I binged it all in one day. So good, though. It's like and it is. It's only ten minute episodes. It's really easy to binge. Uh, yeah. I just it's I think like there's like a couple of twenty minute episodes, but generally they're ten minute episodes. I like how uh, it's all just like theory crafting of like are Millie and uh, Moxie a good couple? Blah 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 blah. I'm like, why? Okay. Just because I watched Hall of a Boss all in one day doesn't mean I want every theory craft video about it now. <laughs> <laughs> M and M are a good couple. I like M and M as a couple. They're a really good couple. True. Uh, yeah, I thought uh, the M's take place on Pride, and then they do go to Wrath for an they go episode. To, no, they go to Lust. They go to Lust. They also go to Wrath. Did they go to Wrath? Yeah, that's the one with Striker, or whatever, whatever that guy, that whatever Daryl's name was in that. No, they just got him um, Millie's uh, house. Yeah, but that was Wrath. Hm. Oh, is it? Oh, is it in Wrath? Okay. And then, so far, all we know about has been is it's Lucifer's realm. And I forget which one that is. What have you got? Lust, Pride, Wrath. Uh, uh, Do you need to remember the seven the deadly sins? Yeah, I don't even remember the seven. Gluttony. Uh, sloth. Sloth. But he's not a part... He's not gluttony, is he? Who? Sloth? Lucifer. No, Lucifer. Oh. He's... Uh, like, each section has, like, their overlord. And Lucifer has... Is the overlord of one... Uh, Osmodius, I think, is the overlord of Lust. Um, I think the Goisha family is the overlord of Pride. Unless it is... No, it can't be. Lucifer can't be the uh, in charge of Pride. Because then Haspin Hotel takes place in the same place. Like, Pride makes sense with Lucifer, but no. Because Lululand is in Pride. Mm -hmm. And it's the uh, it's the copy of Lululand. You can't actually sue us because uh, <laughs> we're not Lululand. <laughs> I love that. The whole thing was them pissed, taking the piss. I can't believe you don't know the Seven Deadly Sins. Didn't you watch the anime, The Seven Deadly Sins? Yes. Yes, I did. Speaking unfortunately. Of, unfortunately, I thought it was fine. It was great the first season. First, I think first season and third season, second half were good. Um. Yeah, but no, I would. I was thinking of seven. The film seven. Ah. Uh. And I was trying to think of the things he killed. Like, the different reasons why he killed. Or, I guess, you know, Full Metal Alchemist also touches upon the seven deadly sins. It does. Yeah, each one of the... With the homunculi. Each one of the homunculi is a different sin. Yeah, that's true. But I don't remember which one... Which one the Hasman Hotel takes place in. Which um, ring it takes place in. But it's, on the, it's in the same universe, of course. Or, uh, didn't they make an anime of Dante's Inferno? I don't know. I think they did. There's there's also the Seven Deadly Sins in Dante, Dante's Inferno. Uh, seven Deadly Sins are in loads of things. 
<clears throat> it is Pride. Okay. So they're on the same. They can't. You can't be Pride though, because that's where the fake Lululand is. The hotel is in the Pentagram City, which is in the Arena Pride. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know. I'm sure. Here's what I like about it. I think Escanor was the best part of Seven Deadly Sins. The that anime. Lulu Land is in Greed. Okay. Uh. And Lulu Land, the non fake one, is in Pride. Okay. That makes more sense. Greed. That's one of the ones I couldn't get. Greed is another one. Oh yeah, yeah Greed. Uh yeah, Escanor. I like Escanor. Escanor. So apparently, uh, TikTok has also fallen in love with Escanor recently, and so they've been using sound bites for, for different things with Escanor's voice lines. <laughs> I like Escanor. Escanor's cool. Escanor's one of the better, like one of the better uh, characters in uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Yeah, Merlin was interesting just because of her backstory, but then it's like, hmm. Beyond that. Merlin? The... Which was Merlin? Merlin is the, uh, the boar, the boar of gluttony or whatever it is. She's the one, she's the second oldest to Mel Meliodas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. The, the wizard. She's the one that makes Alexander Alexander, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Alexander the Great. Alexander? No. Uh, Arthur. No, not Alexander. Arthur. Yes. She, she makes, makes Arthur. She makes Arthur who Arthur is. Yeah. And then you're like, Arthur's dead, and then he comes back later, and you're like, Arthur's alive! Yeah. Uh, and then Meliodas becomes a demon. That's all I got to, was when he became the demon, and then he had to fight with Escanor. And I was like, okay, this is cool. And then, and then Escanor... Escanor beat him and said, Tell me, how does it feel to be looked down upon by a human? <laughs> no, and then, no, Meliodas beat Escanor. No, he didn't. Escanor kicked Meliodas' ass. Remember, because uh, cause High Noon? High Noon, I where Escanor is at, at his strongest. I thought it was the other way around. I thought uh, Meliodas beat him. No, just Escanor being at high noon power just, like, drains his entire power. Like, drains him as a person. I have not watched the whole of SDS. Um, and I don't think I will either. Uh, you have the giant bitch. They tried too hard to make it horny, I think. For what? SDS. Oh, yeah. They tried too hard to make it horny and pervert. Especially with Meliodas just, like, feeling up girls the whole fucking time. Yep. Like, that's what he does. That's his thing. And it's like, great. You're meant to be the main character. We're meant to sympathize to you. You can't th sympathize with someone that's been, like, a pervert like that. I know. I sympathize with, like, I sympathize with Bon and Escanor more. Bannon's good. Um, but, like, it's funny sometimes when you have, say, um, the Bones character from One Piece, who isn't the main character, and he every time he sees a girl, he's like, can I see your panties? Like, it's comedy. Mm -hmm. And he's not meant to be liked. He's not the main character. Brooke, yeah, Brooke. Yeah, every time Brooke sees a, a girl, he's like, can I see your panties? But he's also a skeleton. <laughs> so you're not meant to think I'm serious. Uh-huh. But, uh... uh he's, also, he's also a musician. So, yeah. Our, uh, our Master Roshi in Dragon Ball Z, he's not the main character. Yeah. But, but he's also a perverted old man, which is funny. And, like, uh... But it's, it's when you make main character really perverted, but not even just perverted, but, like, they touch up people. I feel like Meliodas wasn't the main character in season three for a while, though, because it actually followed the. Uh, I mean, he was still, you know, the main character, but it followed the the other six more than it followed yeah. him. 
Uh, yeah, I didn't. I still didn't watch the season six. Uh, see, maybe I did watch season three. Some of it, at least. Uh, uh Bin Binley on Twitch says you have a nice beard. Cheers. <laughs> I need to get it like fixed a bit more, but yeah. I actually need to go in and get my beard fixed a little bit as well. I have no money to fix it. Show to watch, then tag you in the reaction to it. What what is the show? Could be something we watch for next week, actually. Yeah. I need to get this like I wanna get it like that. You know. Are you trying to do Fu Manchu? Like that, yeah. But you can't ever be wise, Ulti. You're you run an idiocracy. This doesn't work. Okay. What about what about the demon's horns? Okay, you can do the demon's horns. <laughs> like that. Yeah. That one's okay. You can do that one. You can't do the Fu Manchu and be wise. <laughs> you run it you run an idiocracy. You can't you can't be wise in that. I I was thinking more of system of doubt. Oh, that's fair. Cause the, he has that as well. Going down the center. But it's much longer. It goes down to like here. Um and it's bigger and stuff. Who else? Oh man, I The English it. stuff of ghost stories. Uh have I watched ghost stories? I might have. Have you watched ghost stories? I need to watch ghost stories. There's a very perverted anime. Not the anime. There's a very perverted, almost hentai esque anime, but it's not hentai. That There's you many. that you might like called Speed Graffer. I don't know if you've seen it yet or not, but. Uh no, I do know what uh, Ghost Stories is. I actually really disliked it. High School DXT. Ah, oh, fucking DXT. I was actually going to say interspecies reviewers. Mm. That's theoretically not a hentai. Speed graphers theoretically not a hentai either. It's just, you know, they get all their power from being sexual. It's weird. <laughs> so is Crying Freeman. Uh, stuff like that. Like, there's Etchy and then there's like... Hentai, but not hentai. You know what makes me mad is they... Ah, I didn't mean hide. No. How, ah. do I... How do I unhide it? You can't. Say wrong, guy. Show it again. Type it all again. So I can actually I show can. it. Okay, there we go. That works, too. <laughs> you can do view deleted message. Yeah, I I looked at the deleted message, but Alti Alti uh, copied your message for you. Yes. I so I don't know if Yeah, you... I from what I heard of Ghost Stories English dub, like I watched the English dub, the first two episodes, and I just I just it was too silly for me to watch. Is how I felt. So here is, here's what I, I don't know if you've noticed this, Ulti, but have you noticed that all of the options to, like, press yes or press show have shifted from being on the right to the left on most no. menus? Oh. I have. And it's, it angers me, because all this stuff that used to be on the right, that's like, oh, hit yes here. You're like, oh, I didn't mean to hit No. Why did they move it? Yeah. Uh, I also... I don't mind the new YouTube channel thing. Like, when you go into someone's channel and it's got... It's now... What is it? Home videos. Oh, yeah. I home got, videos. Yeah. I think that's like, a good... I like that much that, better. That's a good quality of life. I, I'm glad they I've, did that. So, since that change, I've noticed my views jump exponentially <laughs> i uh need to start making actual videos again and not just shorts uh but like so my my views they might have jumped but they're coming from places they shouldn't be coming from which is what so for example like my my stellaris videos uh-huh uh 
what was it? They were getting views from, or like, you know, clicks or click throughs. Yeah. Planting infinite woods to make national parks. What? Kratos falling meme. The insane story of how two orc boys killed a titan. What? Like, none of these have anything to do with Stellaris. Binley, I just bought that half off Halloween candy mix, so you know your boy is smoking on the those almond joys. <laughs> oh yeah, it's half off Halloween candy today. So I already have too much Halloween candy, so I'm okay. I'm good. I have like a million pieces of candy to still go through. Alright. Yeah, when you but yeah, the, the things I was getting recommended from, it's like, that's not anything to do with uh, Stellaris, so why? <laughs> like, why is this a thing? I feel, like, I feel like I've been having that, that happen as well, actually, a lot recently. Like, it'll be, it'll be something like um, some movie clip or something. It's like, a movie clip and then it'll like recommend to one of my gaming videos i'm like my gaming video is not anywhere near what that movie clip yeah. is it, it is so fucking weird i'm not complaining all that much but it's like i'm getting stupid amount of views but they're only staying for 10 seconds and i don't know why they're clicking on a view about stellaris when it's about planting trees on in national park you're like, Stellaris and National Parks are about the same. What's a game? I would understand. <laughs> I would understand if it was a Kirk is that video. Kurt the Gas. Kurt the Gas. Yes. Maybe, yeah. Kurt the Gas video about, like, black holes or something, and then they or clicked the on... Or the Tyson Spear, or... Yeah. And then they clicked on Stellaris. That would make sense. That would make more but not, sense, but not... Yeah. Not I agree. I feel like YouTube's recommendation has been broken... Because anymore, it recommends me stuff that I've just never looked up. And in some cases, yeah, when it's just totally. a bunch of um, Virgil status videos, I'm okay with it. But but then it'll just be like this random, like, I don't know, food thing. And I'm like, I'm not looking at food on YouTube. Why is this being recommended? Oh, yeah, it's it's gotten... Yeah, weird. I feel, I like, I, I... I feel like at this point... They're just like trying to push what you should watch in versus actual recommendations. But why would they be pushing my shit? Like they shouldn't be pushing my shit. Because you have idiot in the name, and they need to make an example out of you. They no longer have idiot in the name, though. They used to have idiot, idiot plays, but not anymore. Now it's back to let's play. Mm, I don't know. Let's plays but are like. Dead. Let's plays are still. But like my, my Stellaris videos are getting like. 30 views each. That is unusually high for Stellaris, actually. Uh, no, not for Stellaris. But that's unusually high for me. You two might not be able to understand your accent, and it thinks you were talking about those things. I would be surprised. That's what Munster said. Yeah, like, see, I would understand if they were coming from Takio Mancy's uh, videos, because I play... Uh, still ours with him so like i would understand if they were going through my channel through his stuff but no it, it, it's just like what the fuck why why are people coming through to me through these weird ass videos it happens all the time with me if a short pops off as well i'll have a bunch of unrelated like videos under suggested videos um otherwise it's normal like all my videos are normal Normal amount of things. Like, uh, mm -hmm. for example, one of one of the contents suggesting my shorts is apparently 15 minutes of pure Gabriel Fluffy Iglesias. I haven't had <laughs> Gabriel Iglesias as a short ever. Where's Where the... is the great leader? You don't have a fucking channel, dude. Ooh, monster. Yeah. He's not, so, like, he's not the leader. <laughs> like... No, he, he's call, he calls himself the Great Leader. Um, so, like, this is uh, my time at Sandrock. And the first one is Ocarina of the Time Randomizer, which sort of makes sense. 
But yeah. I don't know, man. YouTube's it... recommendation system has been wonky. I've been experimenting with some side channels. And yeah. like they just start killing it in views and getting like tons of subs and I'm like, this makes no sense. What the your new chat your newer channels? No, uh, yeah, they're shorts channels, but oh yes, yeah, shorts are fucking dumb though. Like they, if if you want to grow your channel, is oh here, shit tons of shorts. Yeah, have a short. No, I do need to. Yeah. I do need to eventually like start my quote unquote um gaming channel, but I also need to upload long form videos on this channel again. I need I need to ask uh, Taki on how we get so how we got so many fucking subs and views. Did did you did you like tell the whole of Australia to talk, to watch his stuff, uh, Munster? Like all the paid actors from Australia. Well, that wouldn't work because that's only like what six people. <laughs> <laughs> I I st- I think it's hilarious how people think fucking Australia's fake. <laughs> I make the joke that Ohio. I make the joke all the time that Ohio is not a real place. Everyone makes the joke that Canada isn't real. Canada is well, it is real, but it's not a real country. It's true. And paid actors from India. No, if it was paid actors from India, then he would be at like what T series level of yeah subs. Something about the Indians, man. They just. When they find something that they like, they just, like, swarm it. <laughs> like, they're yeah. just like, oh, we like this. Boom! 100 like million the... subs in a day. <laughs> yeah. You're just like, uh, what? I, I, I want all the Indians to like my channel for a day. A day. And then fuck off instantly. Yes. Uh, have you, remember when that one Brazilian website took one of my league videos and said, this guy is a professional? Yes. <laughs> I remember that. Was that, I wasn't, I was, that was also, a, I was there, wasn't I? Were you in the game? Was that one of the games that I was in? Maybe. Because I remember we were in a game, like, we, you've recorded like, us uh, dueling a couple of times. Dueling. Uh, yeah, like, I think it was, and I was uh, Leona, and oh. you were the jungle, if I remember correctly. Uh, unless you were Zillion. There's a Zillion in this game. Were you a Zillion? No, I, I, I only play support. Oh wait, I think I see you. You were in this one. You were you were a Moo yeah. Moo. I was the top laner. <laughs> was I the jungle then? Yes. Okay. You were just a little a Moo Moo here. We'll send it to you for for memory's sake. You were just a little a Moo Moo. We would be fighting with Corvettes. <laughs> I actually think you and Munster are about the same level as the uh, Stellaris. Oh, why? I uh, you, you can both play about the same level. That's what I mean. I mean, I've gotten better. <laughs> you have. So is Dragons, and Dragons play. Uh, not Dragons. So is Munster, but Munster plays every day. Yeah, I don't play every day. That's the problem. Yeah. Um, but I think you are both about the same level of quality in Stellaris. To, to to be fair, my Corvettes in this game are like packing a punch. If I really wanted to just yeah, do a fleet of Corvettes, I was. What did I say? At year one, I was like, "Oh, look, my Corvettes are at 188 power, and it's only three of them. That's kind of cool." Oh yeah, okay. I rem- I vaguely remember this game. weren't we? Didn't you make like a new character or some stupid shit? Yeah, it's our latest playthrough. Yeah. My my military might is absolutely insane if I invest into my military. Which yes. is which is the build that I kinda went for anyway, so it works. 
I just need all my stupid freaking civilians to just go make alloys instead of consumer goods. But I also need the consumer goods for the research. So I hate everything. <laughs> I hate consumer goods. I just want. I should just be hive. That's what I do. Our robots. Just one of the two. I'm so t I'm tired of consumer goods. I hate them so much. And what's annoying is that really only good way to make sure that you don't have to have consumer goods jobs is to be emer is to use the trade, like the trade uh, exploit where you just make three three uh, void dweller trade things, and then you never have to make consumer goods ever again. Oh, in your life. they're talking about the trade. So they nerfed that. You know that. I know, but it's still a good way to. Oh, it's still strong as fuck. No, the the Masterful Crafters is the best way to get around it now. Oh, yeah. And also, so, in, in the game I'm playing with Monster and Tachyon, we're, uh, what year are we in? 2400 or something like that. Um, we're currently fighting the 15 times crisis okay. of the contingency. And I, I have... One ecumenopolis with only like this is the only planet producing consumer goods. It's got a hundred and sixteen jobs in consumer goods. Okay. One planet, and that's it. Like the rest of my worlds are just like if you're build if you have consumer goods, stop building it. <laughs> I uh, that reminds me. I actually don't ever leverage ecumenopoli as much as I should. Oh yeah, <laughs> he keeps building corvettes. Does he really? Be... But so he's building corvettes to be our screen. To be what? Our screen. He's he wants to just be your entire screen. No, not our screen, as in the screen. I mean our screen, as in like the the cannon fodder. Oh. Oh, for the um, for the crisis. Yeah. So because Corvettes are the fastest, he runs in first, gets uh, massacred, but they've uh, shot their load, uh, and yeah, like their first load, not all their loads. I do think it's interesting because I think some other four X games actually make you have to manage. Um... actually have to manage ammo on top of other stuff. Some do, yeah. Like, you actually have to send your units back to your outpost or base to get more ammo before you can send them back out to fight. Yeah, like Homeworld. Yes. I do think it's interesting yeah. that Stellaris is just like, no, you have infinite ammo. Fire forever. But I also... It'd, it'd be too much of a pain... Otherwise, it's the same as like, for example, playing your Europe or your Basalis for or medieval. Imagine playing like a total war game and having to go back to town to get supplies and then go away again and then coming back and then go away. That's true. You're like, no, that's fucking annoying as hell. How but are some we? Games... I'll tell you how are I you. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine as well. I'm doing great. Um. The, yeah. yeah, there are some games where you have to go back for supplies. I think Civ. No. Civ doesn't do that. I thought one of the Civs no. did. No. Oh no, Civ is the whole like for siege units. You have to prep one turn in advance. No, that's only Civ five and six. Ah, okay. At least in total. You can run. Out, you can run out of arrows in the battle. But you can't run out of arrows on the like the grand thingy, the grand uh, campaign. Like when you're outside of battle, they don't run out. But when you're in a battle, yes. But like that would be so. For example, that uh, first Stellaris, that would be um, you can run out of like energy or gun uh, ammo during a fight, and then once the fight is finished. Your you totally renew your uh, ammo. That's okay. Like I can understand that working because it does work. Um, but if you had to go back to your star base to rearm, rearm, and then do it again, 
that would be a really and it'd be inconvenience when you're doing an empire builder. Uh, when you're doing so, there's some games coming out that are all about logistics, but it's not an empire builder. It's a logistics game. Yeah. If the game is that game has to be built around certain things. If the game is built around empire building, logistics are not what you're looking for. Is Stellaris an empire builder? It is. Okay. Technically. It's a 4X game. It's an empire builder. Yeah. Uh, Hoi is different. Hoi is a war simulator. So there is supply limits and there is supply shit in that game. Um, oh, I feel like SimCity is a logistics game. What's up, Alfonso? How's it going? SimCity? Is SimCity like a logistics game? Kind of? Yeah, but that's not a. I'm not. We're talking about war games. True. It's not a war game. It can be a war game if you send the aliens it's to attack. It's building a fucking city. It can be a war game if you send the aliens to destroy your city. <laughs> yeah, but you can't fight them back. That's true. Um. Yeah, but like, so there's a game that's very similar to The Expanse coming out. There's also the game called The Expanse coming out. And they're very much logistic-based games. Homeworld was a logistics-based game set in space. It's not an empire-building game. Uh, things like that. Like, yeah, you, you have to build a game around one thing first, and then you build the rest. You build the shell, and then you build like the rest around it. That makes sense. If the shell is shit, the game's shit. Uh. Oh, yeah. Speaking of games that are terrible, did you see they actually did uh, a second Sins of a Solar Empire game? I have seen that they're doing it, yeah. I, it's it's not at, out it, no, it is out. It's out. It, I got, I got the notification on... I got the notification that said Sins of a Solar Empire 2 out now, and I was like, what? <laughs> I didn't even know they were doing a I second one. I thought it was a technical preview that was out and not the actual game. Oh, maybe it's the technical preview. Because uh, people are looking forward to Sins of, um, Sins of a Solar Empire 2. Uh, oh, no, it's out. Okay. So, Sins of a Solar Empire was a game that that I wanted to get when I was like a wee, wee lad. And yeah, I got seemed, it too. And it seemed really cool. And then I got into it, and I just kept getting destroyed by pirates, because I could never get resources fast enough. Oh, no, it's still an early access game. Uh, so people are looking forward to Sins 2 because it's multiplayer. That's fair. The original one wasn't. Like, Sins would have been an, actually a really good game if it was multiplayer. I hated the AI in that game. The AI was mean. What is our favorite anime? Oh, what's yours, Alti? Violet Evergarden. Evergarden? Violet Evergarden. Oh, Violet Evergarden. What is mine? Ooh, that's Followed tough. by Steins Gate. Uh, I either liked... I think I either liked Inuyasha the best, or... Full Metal Alchemist. Brotherhood, obviously. No. Not the... No, I would say if you're going to roll with FM, FMA, it would be FMA and then FMA Brotherhood. Yeah. Halfway through the season. Because the first half of FMA is really fucking good. That's true. And then the, the second half, uh, you just go back, you go to Brotherhood. Because the first half of Brotherhood relies on people to have already watched FMA. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they have a couple of the, the old FMA stuff in Brotherhood, but that also is only, what, like, six episodes of that is the original FMA, and then you're into Brotherhood at that point? Yeah. Uh, so, the way they deal with Nina is much better done in FMA. Yes. Than it is in FMA B. Oh my gosh, yeah. FMA, Nina was like, oh man, this is... This is bad. Um, uh, so, what? Yeah, they dealt with so many... They dealt with a lot of things until 
they no longer followed the manga um, really well in FMA, the original. Mm-hmm. But once the manga wasn't keeping up with the anime, the anime, FMA gets worse. And then Brotherhood starts taking over. Because there's more Brotherhood in FMA than there is in Brotherhood. That's true. But eventually, yeah, Brotherhood becomes a, a, a much better anime. But the first, like, six or seven episodes are not very good in Brotherhood. Compared to Full Metal Alchemist. But yeah, I still, my favourite, my favourite is Violet Evergarden. And then it's Steins Gate. And then it'd be, I don't know what it'd be afterwards. Um, what's our favourite game? What's your favourite game? Civ 4. Civ 4. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, just look at my channel. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think. Oh man, this is a hard one. I don't know why, but Final Fantasy twelve, even though it's not the one I started on, is still like my favorite Final Fantasy. I don't know why I love it so much, but I do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Uh, but outside of that, probably Final Fantasy ten, because that's actually the first Final Fantasy I started with, and then I played back. Backwards and then forwards. Would you say it's your favorite game though? Final Fantasy X. Or your favorite FF? Mm. That's true. Actually, I think my favorite game is actually Star Ocean until the end of time. I really Which like that That's the third one. The one everyone hates? No, the one everyone hates is the fifth one. No, it's the third one. No, people It's the don't. one that was on PS2. The one where you kill... Uh, the game director. I thought that was number three. Oh, that is number three, yeah. I didn't think people hated it. Yeah, everyone it. hates that. No, oh, no. Everyone, everyone, loves, hates it. everyone loves that one. Everyone hates uh, five. No, everyone makes fun of three. Everyone makes fun of three. Oh, you have not been on Star Ocean subreddits in a while, then. I I know, but I, like, we were talking on uh, Discord, and they were talking about how there's a new Star Ocean, and they were like, uh, I hope in this one you don't kill the director <laughs> of the game. Meaning they don't like Star Ocean until the end of time. That was the first Star Ocean I ever played. Star Ocean until the end. Was that the first Star Ocean? That that was the first Star Ocean I ever played as well, actually. Actually, I really like Star Ocean 1 as well. I thought Star Ocean 1 was really good. Don't know what to... I, ha- I have not watched, or I don't read. Oh, the do manga, we watch... I have not watched Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man. I haven't watched it either. I am actually waiting for a lot of the current anime seasons to finish. Because there's a re there's a lot of really good ones. Uh, there's Chainsaw Man, there's Bleach, there's Mob Psycho, there's um, Spy X Family. I uh, just there's... need to watch more anime like I used to when I was eighteen years old, but it's really hard. I've heard that back on Hero Hero Acad- uh, My Hero Academia is actually not bad this season. I don't know if I want to watch it though. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot of good anime this season, and then ne- I think next season is Mob Cycle. It might be next season, but yeah, there's there's I really want to watch Bleach because it's fucking Bleach. <laughs> it's just so weird that Bleach is back again. I know. I'm like, uh, wait, never... I'm confused. It's... I finished. I finished that series. I thought I accomplished something in life. Nope, we're back. <laughs> Uh, I think they. I think it's just this season, though, after they're done. Oh, oh, kind of like just a kind of clean up. Kind of like Finish. what they did with uh, Samurai Jack when they finished finished Samurai Jack on season four and then just left off, left on the cliffhanger. Yeah, and then, then they came back after a and then like, like, year, yeah. and then like fifteen years later, they're like, guys, we're finally finishing Samurai Jack. Yeah, I I, I actually like the new the because the newest season or 
yeah, that, that season that came out was like, everybody's grown up that watched this, so let's make it grown up. Yep. Like, they had blood and it felt a lot more dark and shit like that, and I was like, oh, this is so much better. Oh, it was super dark. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> it was amazing. And I th- I feel like that was a good end for Samurai Jack. Yeah. But, well, he goes back in the past, but he loses the one he loves. Yep. Yeah, that, I thought it was really good, and it's like, oh, it's a it's a bittersweet ending. It's the it's the hero sacrifice ending. He made it back home, yeah. but he sacrificed his one true love. Yep, it was good. It's not the same. It's it's much better done than uh, enslaving a whole entire fucking town. Yeah, <laughs> and then getting told at the end, oh, they won't know what sacrifices you made. Mm-hmm. Whereas uh, Samurai Jack actually made sacrifices. Uh, yeah, I, I do watch. I still watch a shit ton of anime. I, I like anime. I like anime as well. It's just I always have. So my issue is that I'm very limited on time, and I can't watch and play. At the same time, because if I'm watching something, I want to be watching something. And if I'm playing games, I want to be playing games. Like, I don't want to be distracted. Yeah, I, no, that's not the same for me. Um, but yeah, there's like, so... Uh, Chainsaw Man is rated a 9. Spy X Family is rated an 8.7. Mob Cycle 3 is rated an 8.6. Uh, Bleach, the new one, is rated at a 9. Blue Lock is rated at an 8.2. Fumetsu is rated at an 8.2. Oh, man. This is all this... This is just this season. Do I... Uh, uh, Do I finally break down and get a Crunchyroll subscription? No. Why (laughs) would you make... Why would you get a Crunchyroll when you can just watch it as else flies? Uh, Golden Kami is 8.3. Baki the Rock is 8.4. Like... There's so Arc Knights is a something else. That's an eight. Yeah. Oh, Arc Knights. Not... I remember uh, seeing a previews for Arc Knights, and I was like, I could watch this, but then I, I guess I forgot it existed until you mentioned it. Maybe that's what I'll watch. I'm kind of in this weird. Yeah. I'm in this weird uh, kind of like in between of I just finished watching all these series that I was wanting and also had to watch because of Hell of a Boss. But I enjoy. <laughs> I I enjoyed Hell of a Boss at least. It was worth watching. It was. Um, so I'm in this weird lull of like, I don't know what to watch right now. But then the but then I'll decide in like three days and then I'll binge it for three days. And then I'll just be like, I don't know what to watch now. <laughs> you can watch Ghost Stories. I'm not watching it. Uh, the, guy, the guy that... Uh, Tyrone guy. Said, what? Yeah. I like it. Uh, I'm not it. No... We need to find something that it we was, both need to watch. It was just too silly for me. That's fair. Like, I don't like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure because it's too silly. Oh, see, I actually like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Like, you'd like ghost stories. Yeah. But I don't. It's, it's just, it's over the top silly. It's just too much for me. So, I went to, here's the funniest thing that happened. Um, This was what? Five or six months ago? Yeah, so five or six months ago, I went to a restaurant, and I'm, and like a regular restaurant, not like, you know, a restaurant that's themed um, towards yes. like, you know, weebs and anime and all that. I went to a restaurant, and they were playing JoJo's Bizarre Adventure on it, and this restaurant is like, the demographic is not people who I feel like would be watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but they just had it playing on the TV, and I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. I would expect to like go to a sushi place and like, oh, hey, there's JoJo's B- Bizarre Adventure, not not go to a sandwich shop where stone. Well, the the whole sandwich shop, the whole theme is like weed culture and all that. Yeah. And so I'm like, I don't expect to go to a sandwich shop that has a weed culture theme and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is like playing on the TV. I don't feel like that's what appeals to stoners. That's weird. <laughs> um. I actually got a really good ramen shop down in Edinburgh called Mackie and Ramen. Okay. 
Mac, it was so fucking good. I want to go back, but I'm not going to travel 300 miles to take get one. <laughs> Nine. I'm not spend. I'm not spending nine hours on a goddamn train to get mac and ramen, and then spending a hundred quid a night to stay, and then spending another nine hours. It's to get for me to get a, a mac and ramen. It would cost me two hundred quid together. So, which is about two hundred fifty dollars. So for me to go get ramen from my favorite ramen shop when I'm not dog sitting, um, my favorite ramen shop's like 15 minutes away from me. So I just drive there, pick it up, and drive back. <laughs> there is no ramen place where I live. That's fair. Oh man, Katsu ramen is really good. And now I think that I think when I go home tomorrow, that's probably what I'm gonna pick up for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have katsu. Uh, did, I, did I have katsu? I had something. I forget what it was. But it was... I ah, Man, it was so good. And dumplings. Oh, man, I miss dumplings so much. That is the one Nobody thing... Nobody here sells dumplings, and it sucks. That's the one thing I will say that I have to give New York credit for, is, like, their K-Town and Chinatown. All of the food places there are pretty, really good. Like, they're really good. Yeah. I mean, New York uh, has good food. It's also just, like, super expensive for no good reason. Yes. Other than yes, being New be. York. <laughs> yeah. I, mm, no. I'm happy just going to Edinburgh. Edinburgh's got good food. Yeah, I mean, Denver has good food as well, which is nice. Um, I remember when my friend, she came to live in Edinburgh for a bit because, like, uni... And I remember her saying, Edinburgh doesn't have that many restaurants, does it? And I, I walked, we, we walked up a street and I went, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. And it, it was like 20 restaurants in one street. And the street was only like a mile long. And I was like, no, Edinburgh has a fuck ton of re uh, restaurants. And she's like, you don't understand. You don't have to like, uh, like pre order. What's it? Pre order, pre book, or anything like that. That's what I meant. I'm like, yeah, because we have so fucking many. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, she's lived in London for like a year beforehand, and mo a lot of London, uh, restaurants you pre book to get into, <clears throat> and most, almost all restaurants in Edinburgh you don't book to get into. Surprisingly, and we like, didn't. We didn't have to pre book anything in New York. I mean, we had to wait. But yeah, but New York has an ungodly amount of restaurants. That's true. Edinburgh is very similar. There's an ungodly amount of restaurants in Edinburgh for this, for how big Edinburgh is, especially. London does not. London has a lot less restaurants than it probably should. Um, like Edinburgh has, Edinburgh has what? A Population of five hundred thousand people, and there's probably about five hundred thousand re five hundred thousand restaurants. <laughs> a restaurant for every <laughs> person. There's probably about a hundred thousand restaurants in Edinburgh. Mm. There is an insane amount of restaurants. Um, every single shopping center has at least five. Uh, every cinema has a restaurant beside it, if not to uh, Edinburgh is crazy how for how many restaurants there are. So and another thing another thing she said was uh there's not a lot of parks in Edinburgh. And I don't I don't know how much you know about Edinburgh the city. Half of the city centre of Edinburgh is a park. <laughs> and I, I, I just went what? That'd be like <laughs> that'd be like coming in <laughs> That'd be like coming to Denver and being like, there's no parks in Denver. You're like, uh, there's a park on literally every, like, mile. There's a park everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> Edinburgh's the same. Like, there's there's a lot of parks in Edinburgh. And considering half of the city centre is a park, you're like, how could you even say there's not that many parks when half of the city centre is a park? <laughs> so to be fair, the reason Colorado has, Colorado and Denver in particular, has so many parks is because... 
half of all lottery sales go to Parks and Rec. Okay. So, so like, the state has to spend the money somehow, so they're like, we'll just prop up a park there. Oh, we'll prop up a park there. Let's prop up a park there. And you're just like, okay, why do I need a park across from a park? This doesn't make sense. It's like having a Starbucks across from a Starbucks. Yeah, that that happens here too. <laughs> oh, it happens. It happens here. I I don't think there's any place that it doesn't happen. I did. Uh, I did hear an interesting reason as to why they put Starbucks on both sides of the roads, even if they're across from each other, and it's so that if people are walking, they don't have to cross the road to get to a Starbucks. That makes sense, though, in America, not in Britain. <laughs> because we don't have jaywalking. So people will... In America, you're technically not allowed to cross a road without a traffic light, or whatever it is. Uh, or a crosswalk. But in, in Britain, we could just cross the road, because we're not dumb. I mean, you could cross the road in America. No one's really going to pull you... Like, no cop... Unless it's like the slowest month in the history of mankind. No, I, I get that they generally don't care, but it is technically still illegal. It is technically still illegal, yes. Whereas it, here has never been illegal. It is also. It's actually. Yeah, in this in this country is now starting to go the opposite way, where it a car has to stop if you look like you're going to cross the road. Interesting. And I think that's dumb. So, uh, it's actually technically illegal to spit on a sidewalk here. Yeah, it's the same in most places. It's like, oh, you can't, spit on, oh, yeah. you can't spit on a sidewalk, but, like, they're not going to do anything if you do. Like, There's actually a part in Scotland that's... Act so, there's a national heritage in Scotland where you are meant to spit on it. That's funny. It's called the Heart of Midlothian. And it's a national heritage that you spit on for luck. That's quite funny, actually. I don't know. Um, New York was fun. <laughs> what? It's monster. What do you say? Uh, so, you've watched uh, Konosuba, yeah? No, I haven't. Or at least you know what... Do you know what Konosuba is? No. Oh, okay. All right, mate. Go ahead. Explain it to me. I'll, I'll just send it to you. I can just send it. Uh, copy. I've watched Kageguri. <laughs> I've watched Kageguri. I'm mad that they have what? not finished Kageguri. What the fuck happened here? How do I copy this image? You. It's not pay. Oh, there we go. There it is. Oh, Munster said lolly. There we go. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay, this makes sense. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. So there's the wrong character, but still. Yeah, I meant. So there lol. is actually a character. There's actually a ca character in Konosuba that uh, that likes to be uh, dominated. Interesting. And so yeah, and so the character they're showing is not the character who. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> gotcha. The character is showing just like to blow up shit. <laughs> it's like Klee that's from what, Genshin. Like, that's her whole thing. She can cast one spell. That's it. And every time she casts a spell, she collapses. Oh, like Donald Duck in Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> yes. So, like, if Donald Duck only ever casted Ultima, you and mean, then after casting Ultima, couldn't do anything. You mean Zeta Flare? It's Zeta, it's Zeta Flare. Oh, you haven't played Kingdom Hearts 3. You can now, if you want to spend money on to Epic. <laughs> no. You don't I, wanna, I know, you've already said that. You don't want to give money to Epic for Kingdom Hearts? Come on. No. 
Eventually, they will finally put Kingdom Hearts on Steam. No, they won't. It's been a couple of years already. <laughs> Is there something you'd like to tell everyone, idiot? <laughs> no, I, I am the one that likes to dominate. Except in Stellaris, when Jurston destroys us both. <laughs> yes. Because, I mean, Jurston's just really good at the game, though. Hello, Cookie Yoshi. How's it going? It'd be fun to have uh, Jurston in the games that I have with Tachyon and Monster. Why don't you ever That'd ask That'd be him? really good. Ah... Uh... I haven't actually thought about it. I'm the only one who why. I'm the only one who can't join because of when you guys play. Unless I don't know for some reason my YouTube just gets five billion subscribers and I can just be a full time YouTuber. Then maybe I can just join at random hours. Yeah, that'd be great. Well, actually, I wouldn't like to be a full time YouTuber, but yeah. I just the nice thing about the so. I'm going to go for an extended weekend with my lady in to New Mexico in December. Mm -hmm. And the best part of that vacation is I literally, like, I will be doing nothing, really. <laughs> like, I'll just be doing nothing. I'll be going to a resort and I'll just be lounging. That's, like, amazing. Yeah, I, I think the whole system in America is fucked up, though. I, uh, yeah, I agree. I mean, my job gives pretty good PTO time, which is great. Like, I think I would have enough PTO time to do what you guys consider is holidays. Oh, I'm glad you think I'm funny, because uh, that's the trauma of my childhood. I don't know. That's what everyone says, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I will... So... I do get enough PTO that I could probably do what, what you guys just consider a holiday, which is take like a month off and of not working if I just banked it all. No one does that, but yeah. Or whatever. I don't know. Whatever you guys consider a holiday. A holiday is like a week off. Ah. But we get... We're Legally, a company has to give you four weeks a year. Okay. Like, has to. I think... Uh, and then you get... Like, I get about... Eight weeks holiday a year. Okay. Roughly about that. And I can take, like, a month off every year if I wanted to, but unpaid. Still keep my job. Gotcha. I... Let's see. I think the way my PTO works out is I get six weeks. And that's is only for... For being a new employee, like the company I'm with, it. the company I'm with actually gives really nice PTO benefits, which is great. And unlike my previous company, if I wanted to take say three weeks off in a row, I could take three weeks off in a row. I wouldn't have to do two weeks, come back for a week, and then do another week. Yeah, I, the company I work for don't like you taking more than three weeks in a row. Like, you're allowed to take three weeks in a row, but they don't want you to do any more than that. Yeah. Uh, but you can get around it. So, say you take the two weeks before the end of the year and two weeks after the end of the year, um, you're, t you're getting four weeks, maybe five weeks. But they're, like, they can't say no because you've... We book a year in advance... So you book the year in advance for the the year, the end of the year, gotcha. and then and then you book again later on for the beginning of the next year. Gotcha, makes sense. Booking a year in advance is fucking stupid, but yeah. So you have to book a year in advance. Have to. Well, oh. don't have to, but if you want your fucking uh, holiday, yeah. Gotcha. I I only I just have to tell my boss I'm like hey I want to take PTO this day and they're like cool take it. I think that's the one thing I miss is just going I want to I want a day off and they're like yeah go off. Uh, no like it's very rare as well even in, in Britain nowadays it's very rare for you having to. Most people are like uh, we want you to like book a month in advance and that that makes sense like 
they need to know who to uh, like bring in for your cover and shit. But a year in advance is a pain in the ass. Yeah. I, like I'm just like I don't even know what I'm doing this month, let alone like a year from now. There was a a brief while that it had to be a month in advance, like you know if there's any planned busy periods during the year they're like oh well you have to book a month in advance a month in advance makes sense it should be a month in advance because then the company could be like like you're you're not going to be in x day so i can cover you with this person or something like that Mm -hmm. makes it makes sense but when like a week in advance isn't enough time usually to get someone to come in to cover you no one Unless can, you're out. I was gonna say no one can technically do my job, so so they just okay. they uh they just suffer the the days that I'm gone. Not really suffer. I try and always just make sure everything's like fine before I leave and then like this last week everything decided, Oh, you're back from vacation, we're all gonna break now and I'm like, Why? I just got back from New York, why is everything breaking? Yeah. Yeah. I don't have to deal with that shit, but yeah, I get you. There are some time, there are some times where I wish I could just make enough money to get by by just working a, a brainless job, but I can't. Like I do. Yes. <laughs> I but, work in a retail store. It's it's brainless as fuck, and I'm I'm glad. I yeah, that would be nice. I'm tired of always having to like think at this point for my job. I'm just like, I just want to turn my brain off. And do nothing, and still make the money I make, but that that doesn't that doesn't happen, unfortunately. No, not generally. Not unless you're like at the point where you can just tell people what the fuck to do. Mm-hmm. You're like, I don't want to think. You do it for me. Yeah, yeah, that that'll be a long time for me because like Trump, Trump level levels of shit. <laughs> I don't need to think. You think for me. Yeah, you you're think the boss. For me. I don't care. You're the boss. You're supposed to think, nah. That's why I hired you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I gave you the money to think. And then I'll steal your your things. And I'll pretend it's my yes. uh, idea. Yes. It's a great idea. But then why would I do the things for you? Because you're getting paid. But but I could get paid more if I, if I, if I told people my idea. Nah, you couldn't. Because people wouldn't think you were... Cur- people wouldn't believe you. Mm-hmm. That that's generally how things work. Like if a uh, the bigger person just takes steals the ideas of the smaller person. Yep. Because no one's going to like buy into a smaller person's thing. That's why they have uh, the whole like what the show Shark Tank. It's like all these giant like these big name investors, and then. There's people that come with like cats on a board, or a, like a cat skateboard or whatever, that they're trying yeah, to sell. It's, and it's like the it's only called Dragon's Den here. Huh? It's called Dragon's Den here. Oh, is it okay? Yeah. Yeah, they but call yeah, it, yeah. they call it Shark Tank here, and it's like, oh, you want to sell this cat skateboard? Cool. I'll I'll take half of your company for it, and I'll give you like a million dollars funding. Yep. <laughs> And, and and it's just it's like it makes sense why they take up so much of your company because like well they yeah and you're like ah oh, but I'd make more money if I sold it by myself no you wouldn't no you wouldn't because <laughs> you have big name investor endorsing it so <laughs> yeah even but if it's it, same as like even if it's a terrible product people will buy enough of it to where you make more money than if you sold it on your own. Yes. No, even if it's a good product. Not if, it, if it's a terrible co- product. If it's a terrible product, the company won't even buy it. That's true. But if it's a good product, uh, you're more than likely going to sell more of it by having an investor than not having an investor. Yep. Eventually, you can get to the point where like, you no longer need an investor. But yeah. For the first bit, you're like, oh, I need that investor. Yes. It is funny when... Like, I love, oh gosh, what is the, the bald-headed guy's name? He's always, like, kind of a arrogant prick on Shark Tank. Oh, I don't remember his name. But it, I, lo- I love his brutal honesty. It's hilarious. 
he's like, wow, this is a good product if, you know, it was made for kids. But I'll support you and give, and I'll just take half of your company for it. Yeah, that, yeah. I remember watching Dragon's Den, and yeah, there's a guy, there was a couple of guys like that. And then you'd have, yeah. They would all be pretty brutal. <laughs> uh, yeah, almost all of them would be pretty brutal. And it was good. I, like I enjoyed the, it. I like the episodes in, but... when they're actually, like, shocked by what someone made. Mm-hmm. Because most of the time it's just brutal, like, why did you spend your time making this? I remember meeting one of the Dragon's Den people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was a business conference. Um, it was, like, for students and shit to uh, listen to people. Nice. And I ended up having an argument with a, a politician. Ah, uh, yes, arguing with politicians. Alti's favorite pastime. I was 18. <laughs> 19? I would have been, like, 19. But, yeah, I was arguing with a politician. You started early. Was it... I think it was, like, the year after the market crash? The banking uh, crash? Ah, yes. So, I was like, uh, why didn't you just do what Iceland did? Why didn't you just do what I said? Oh, actually, no, it wasn't. It was before the market crash. And I was talking about how we were in a golden age. And I was like, so when do you think the, the recession will hit? Because golden age is always, it's always cycles. So yep. it's going to, like, my uh, lecture at the time said, there's going to be a recession relatively soon. Uh, and I asked uh, him, I was like, uh, when do you think the next recession will be? The, uh... That was ages ago. It was like 20 years ago. So I barely remember. The, uh, so the fun, the funny thing about Golden Age just reminds me of Civ, uh, I don't remember. I've never, I haven't played much of the other Civs other than 5 and 6. Do they have Golden Ages as well? Yeah. So there's a Civ 5 mod that lets you play as Mr. House's New Vegas. Okay. And it's funny because you make you get more like golden age science and culture points the more gold you have. So you basically rush making money and you get everything else. And you can liter like I think using that mod, I got it to where I had a gold like I had a golden age happen basically every time a golden age ended. So like a golden age would end and then it's like, oh you're in a golden age again. I'm like, Yay! This is not a bro in, this is not a broken mod at all. In previous civs, generally a golden age was just there so you could civic swap. Yeah. That was it. Um so civic swapping would cause anarchy. And if you flipped to a golden age, it wouldn't be anarchy anymore. And that was pretty much it. That was all golden age. Like you would get plus one per tile. Like per thing per tile. And that like it wasn't as strong as being able to go from, say, slavery to something else without having five turns of anarchy. Yeah, Civ Five is literally just like, oh, here's a golden age. You get more civic, or you get more culture points. You get more technology yeah, I, I points. Yeah, I don't like Civ Five and Six. I really don't like Civ Five and Six. I know why. I know people do like them, but I hate them both. So disappointed with them. Do you remember when you said that I had to play Civ 3 and I didn't know that you had to defend your own city? <laughs> oh, yeah. The AI just came in and took my city within like four turns, and I'm like, wait, I have to have a unit on my city tile? What? So much better. <laughs> makes sense. No, it does make a sense. City can't defend itself. It does make sense. The city sense. doesn't go, I am defending myself. It does make sense, but that was, you know, coming from Civ Five, that was a shock to me because the cities do defend oh, yeah. themselves. Yeah, I, I, yeah, and the AI are better generally in the in the earlier games. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I, though... I think I lost to just a lowly bandit as well. Like the bandit took my city, and I was done. I was like, yeah, 
Hmm. Yeah, barbarians and older older civs are pain in the ass. Barbarians in Civ five and six are not difficult. Um, but they, in they feel like they serve zero purpose unless you're playing the Aztecs or the uh, yes. or the Germans in Civ five. But in uh, in one to four, they they serve a purpose of being cunts. Because mm -hmm. they spawn very regularly. There is a in the earlier civs you can do a thing called barb busting. Okay. You um so they in earlier games, barbarians cannot spawn within three tiles of a unit. Okay. So you'd keep you would like surround your base with warriors. Uh, and you'd f go out further and further with more and more warriors, and then they couldn't spawn. I think, what is it, Civ 5 and 6, barbarians can't spawn on places you have sight of, if I remember correctly. Uh, yes. No, they can't. I think they can't spawn as long as you have sight of the area. But the minute that it goes dark, there's an, there's not, there's a chance for them to spawn. think so but yeah i hated barb spawning in civ 6 and civ 5 it just felt like they just went ah oh, it doesn't matter we'll spawn anyway and you're like what i like and i they, said they, they serve spawn until the very end of the game and you're like okay barbarians like i said like i said they they serve unless you're playing the aztecs who get culture bonus from killing barbarians or um Release Pelosi home security cam and body cam footage now. I don't know why this person thinks I would have that. Welcome back, Cookie. I don't know why this person thinks I would have uh, footage of that, but okay. Yeah. I... Okay. <laughs> um, Ted Crux. Ted Crux. Uh, yeah. So the, the reason they work barbarians are good for aztecs and germans is because aztecs you get a percent of culture back for killing barbarians and then yeah they're, like there's good uses for them because i think was it saudis gets money i no, it's um the oh what are they the barbados or whatever it is mm. they get they um, get double money yeah. They get double money from clearing a barbarian camp. And then there's one that can hire them? The German the Germans have a chance to recruit a barbarian that they kill. Yeah. Like there there are some that are good, but at the end of the game and you find a barbarian, you kill it, you're like, I don't want you. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, because they only ever what just... the the most they scale is like the medieval age. That's it. Yeah. They don't scale they don't into do they don't scale yeah. into the iron and nuclear ages. In in earlier civs they actually have cities and they can like grow. Interesting. And then they like they can actually and barbarians scale depending on the average tech of the game. Yeah, no. They, barbarians in Civ Five basically just scale at certain points of the game. At certain points, yeah. it's like, cool, you have a knight now, or a knight barbarian. Okay. Yeah. But another, like, so there's some civs where you could make a city within two tiles of a city. Yeah. <clears throat> so, and you would do that. It's called ICS, Infinite City Sprawl. So, so here's, the, uh, here's the one thing I hate about Civ Five is they have two civilizations, I think they're tied to DLC, that their entire purpose is to start with one city, and you take over city-states, and that's how you grow. Venice. Yeah, it's, it's the Venetians and it's the Austrians. It's the, Those are the two. I, know about the, I knew about the Venetians one. Like, you buy them? Yeah, you send a merchant of Venice to a city-state, and you buy them. Yes, I remember that. So, here's the stupid thing about that, is it still makes the AI mad. 
when you buy a city state because they're like oh you conquered a city state and you're like but i did what my my condition says i'm supposed to do which is buy city states and they're like no you I, bad i hated the whole i hate you for x like when someone would attack you and you and then you would kill the guy back and then everybody around you was like i hate you and you're like but i'm not the aggressor yeah <laughs> Yeah, that part never makes sense in in Civ Five. I'm, what was it? The Huns, the freaking Huns. Attila the Hun was like, "I'm going to attack you." What's up, Lee Nation? Hey, Lee. Uh, Attila the Hun was like, "I'm going to attack you, Venetians." And so, like, because you're Venetians, you have all this gold income, so you can just buy military units without having to build them. Yep. And so you're just like, cool. Buy, 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 buy. You just buy, like, five military units because you've bought five city-states at this point. And then you send them all to attack Attila the Hun. And, you, and Attila the Hun's like, I yield! Have this city! And then everyone's like, how dare you attack Attila? And you're like, he attacked me first! Yeah, it's... Oh my god, I hated Civ Five so fucking much. Because it just felt like the AI just hated you for nothing. Um, I didn't... So, what was it? One of the things that they advertised Civ 5 for was the AI acts more like human players, so they can backstab you at any time. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I don't want that from AI. I... AI to me is AI. Like, I just want them to act like the AI. I don't want them to act like human players. If I want to, if I want to fight human players, I'll fight human players. They're kind of just trying to do that with Stellaris too, making the AI smarter. That's different, though, because there's no... So civ... each civilization is meant to have a different reaction to different things. Right. Like, say Montezuma from a any civ will always go to war almost no matter what. Right. You can get him to go to war with a bajillion different people, and he can, he can backstab you at pleased. But in... So, but there's other people where it's like France or Louis the Third, uh, Louis the Thirteenth, can't backstab you if you're if he's happy enough with you. So that's what you would generally do in Civ games. Would you would try to make people happy enough with you that they would not attack you. Mm -hmm. But in Civ Five, they got away with they. Everyone can attack you at all times. Doesn't matter how happy they are with you or how unhappy they are with you. They're like, I'm attacking now. And you're like, mm, thanks. I mean, to be fair, Stellaris is that way too. They're like, we're just going to attack you. For what? We don't no, want... no, they won't attack you if they're happy with you. Oh yeah, that's true. The, a the AI can still be manipulated. Actually, it's funny. So, what did I say? I started a playthrough. I think, I, I think it's a solo Knights of the Toxic God playthrough. And I have a uh, corp uh, corporation uh, galactic civilization yeah. next to me which you know, and it's not a uh, crime syndicate it's just a normal one so you know their entire thing like their ai coding is like oh we're gonna be as happy with you as possible so we could do a trade agreement yes um so the funny thing that happened and i also learned that apparently a subsidy or a subject corporation cannot put corporate buildings into your empire No, because you don't have a commercial pact with them. Yes, I, I found that out. <laughs> so basically what happened is they got attacked by my neighbors who didn't attack me for some reason. The, so I basically got wedged between the corporation and a federation. And I hate being against AI federation early because they just will attack you because it's like, oh, well, we got three people to attack you, so we're going to just attack you. For some reason, mm -hmm. the Federation's like, oh, you're cool. We're not going to attack you. But they attack the corporation that's next to me. And so then the corporation gets, like, downsized. And they're like, we want to be your vassal. So they were boosting my economy. And then they became my subject. And then my economy tanked. I was like, uh. <laughs> So that is the one, that's the one annoying thing about um, vassalization is, like, because I think, what, as an overlord, as a corporate, you can still make stuff on your subsidiaries right 
I know you can't have subjects that you integrate technically, but I don't know how that works. You can make holdings, and that's all I know. Discord's been shit. What the fuck's wrong with Discord? I can't click anything with Discord. Weird. I know. I just know from oh, personal. I can't click anything with anything. Yeah, broke your computer. Yeah, I can't like prick, press X on anything or anything. What the fuck? You broke your computer. Why'd you do it, Alty? Uh, like, I can click things because I can click between like um, different windows, but I can't click X on anything or really anything else. Yeah, like I'm okay. You uh, broke your computer. How dare you? I I I feel like I I have to end this so I can like yeah. It's late anyway. It's like quarter past two in the morning. That's fair. Um, so what? Yeah. What should we watch for next week? It's the question. I do not know. Mm. We'll figure it out sometime this week. What we should watch for next week. But it should probably be... Let's do a movie this time. I feel like we've done a couple TV series. Let's do a movie this time. Uh, I would say Night of the Werewolf. Night of the Werewolf. I'm down to watch that, actually. Yeah, I've already watched it. Okay. I feel... uh, it wasn't bad at all. Yeah. Don't watch the trailer. Don't watch the trailer. Don't. Don't watch the trailer. Just watch the movie straight out. Okay. Yes. It's only an hour long. Oh, okay, gotcha. Cool. All right, I'll watch that. Uh, a monster watched the trailer. Okay. And he kept complaining about things because he watched the trailer, and I'm like, "Don't watch the fucking trailer." Is it one of those things where the tra- nothing in the trailer is in the movie? I don't know. I never watched the trailer. Oh. Because I went, I I was like, I just want to go in there blind. That's fair. All, all I knew about it was it's Night of, Night of the Werewolf. Uh, so all I knew was werewolf. <laughs> Monster. I didn't know was... anything else. He said he and was I'm glad bored. I knew. He said he was bored. Yes. Yeah, he, you were bored. I, I remember you were bored. But he kept fucking doing different things. And I'm like, just watch the fucking thing. It's funny. All right. So I'll watch Night of the Werewolf. And then we can discuss it next week yes all right well as always uh thanks everybody who tuned in you can always catch the podcast afterwards here on youtube and eventually i will get my arson gear and we'll put this on anchor so that it can eventually be on spotify and maybe we get five million people Um, listening to it i doubt it but you know (laughs) maybe we get two more people than normal (laughs) maybe maybe If we're lucky. If we're lucky. Anyway, have a good one all. And uh, Alti can do his little sign-off too. Have fun, people. Bye. Fuck yous. See you guys later.